This video will show you how to set up and use customer specific pricing in Sage Business Vision. Customer specific pricing is an add-on uh, to the Sage Custom Pack which is in included with one of the five modules. Custom Pack is an add-on for Small Business Edition, Standard Edition, and is included automatically with Client Server Edition. If we go under Help and Sage Business Vision, we can see here under my licenses that Custom Pack is installed. I have the ability now to use Custom Pack. Let's close this part and let's go underneath the system setup and enable Custom Pack. Let's go to Company and Custom Pack and we will set this active. Once this is set active, I do not have to enable Super Ticker, Mail Merge, or Workbook for customer specific pricing to be in effect. Let's just check off active and let's hit OK. Let's go underneath our user details and let's check underneath access, customer, and options. Let us make sure that we have maintain customer specific pricing set to yes and view customer specific pricing yes, set to yes as well. Once we save this, we are now ready to utilize customer specific pricing. Let's first take a look at our first customer, Ace Electronics. And in Ace Electronics, we can see here that in our tax and shipping, this person, Ace, has a selling price level of 2. And we have here a customer specific pricing set previously. Let's delete this for now and let's create a new one. Let's go to new by hitting the new icon here and let's pick a part number um, CD204 and we now see here that it's defaulting to the regular selling price of 31370. We can click on selling prices to see what selling price we have from 1 through 20 and the green indicator means that 31370 is what this customer is set to which we saw previously at a selling price level of 2. Let's go to previous selling prices and we could see here if we expand the screen that we have previously sold six instances of this product ranging from 317.22 to 291.50 which is our latest one. So let's say um, we'll establish a new customer specific price for this customer. Um, go to details and we'll say let's say 275. Okay. Now when we test tab off it we'll see here that the margin automatically resets itself to uh, the margin based on 275 and the cost price. Um, an options on the right is do not apply product specific discounts which are product specific discounts like um, price discount matrix. Um, use lowest selling price which will negotiate between the price you have here that you've set at 275 and other um, factors like product specific discount. Um, start price, uh, start date and end date which means that this 275 will be in effect on certain dates. So let's establish a date range here, let's say June the 12th for example to June the 18th that we're logged in as of. Um, automatic delete price after expiry which means if if I log into a date let's say past uh, June the 18th it will automatically delete this price from this customers account if it's checked off. Let's enable that for now so we know that this um, price is in effect from the 12th to the 18th. Let's save this which will then populate underneath the customers specific price tab. So you'll see here that there's a few icons that I can click on is to want us to refresh, um, to create a new one, uh, edit the specific price, to copy, and to delete. So let's see what happens if we go to order entry now and sell ACE a CD204. Let's go to the order entry and let's pick ACE. and we'll pick the CD204 and we'll see that it comes up automatically with a 275. Now, 
you also have this icon here, which is an information icon that has a C. This C gets um, populated if uh, customer pricing is in effect. So if I was to, for example, change this to, let's say, for example, 270 to get a, even a bigger discount, that the green information icon is now changed to a regular um, white eye which means that customer secret pricing is no longer in effect since I changed I changed the price from 275. Let's reactivate it again by deleting this line and putting it back. Another way customer secret pricing can be disabled is if we change customers. So for example in this case I'm going to change from ACE to ACME and we'll see here that the customer secret pricing now is no longer in effect and uses the regular price of two of three hundred and twenty three seventy, which if we click on the information, go to pricing, we'll see that it is the first selling price for this customer. Let's close. And we'll close the order without saving. Let's go back to the customer module to ACE and let's look at other features of specific pricing. So we'll look at the CD204 again, we'll double click and um, we'll go now to the quantity breaks section. Um, we can now specify quantity breaks specific to this customer. Um, what we'll do here is we will specify for example um, 5 at let's say 255 and we'll have 10 at 235. As you can see here, once I press tab, the margins get updated on the fly automatically. Okay, so we'll save this again. So in addition to the regular selling price of 280 of 275, of 275, we can now see that under quantity breaks we have 255 and 235, depending on how much the customer buys. So let's close this and let's go back to order entry and let's see what happens if we um, sell more than one of the same product. Go to ACE and we'll now for example pick for 6 CD204 and we'll pick 6. Now we'll see that it's 255. Okay, Let's change this for example to let's say 11. Now it's 235. Okay, It negotiates between the selling price level and the quality breaks that we set up for this customer specific pricing. Let's close and let's say let's see a couple of ways that we can actually access customer specific pricing aside from the customer module itself. We can go to the inventory module itself and we can go to the product and go to customer pricing. We'll see all the customer pricing set for this part number. So I can have Ace, I can have Acme, I can have Winston uh, bar and grill in there. Basically every, everything, um, all the customer service pricing for this item will show up on this list here. If we close, we can also go underneath utilities and customer specific pricing. We'll double click on that and we'll see here that um, we can now modify, save, and we can also uh, delete from here. We can also toggle a view between customers and products itself. So if we click that, you can toggle, now it says part number, this one now says customer. In this module, all customer prices will show. Let's close that and let's go to the reporting suite. A couple of reports that we can run is we can get the reports from the customer module itself, running customer price by customer, by name, or customer price by customer by number. We can also get it from the inventory module, customer price by item. Okay, let's run this actually, and we'll see that we've established the 275, 255, and 235. Okay, let's close the report down. Close. And another very important feature of customer pricing is that we can go to the customer module and pick ACE. And we also know that under the ship to, we can create multiple ship to IDs. Let's create, let's uh, delete this one. And I will create a new 
customer price one new let's say customer ship to one I'll save that and what I could do here is on the taxes and shipping tab I have this use bill to specific prices which means that I will use the main bill to specific price which is the C204 at 275 let's go back to the ship to actually and let's go to specific pricing and let's see if we can specify our own specific price for this customer price one let's click on new let's see what happens if we go to a CD204 and let's put a price in here of let's say 222 save close and we'll see now that now this ship to has its own specific price for CD204 if we go to order entry and pick ace for example and we go to ship to and let's set this one as the default item details we'll go for a CD204 and we'll see that the price of 222 comes up well 222 comes up because we have established this price for this ship to let's say for example we was to go back to the regular one it comes back to 275 because we shifted from the customer price ship to to the regular bill twos let's say for example we wanted to use the bill to specific um, all the bill to specific prices let's close this down go back to our um, customer details module and let's go to the customer price one ship two and let's go to this tax and shipping we'll see here that the bill to specific price is disabled this is because that there is a specific price already for this ship two if I was to now try to use the bill to specific price I now need to delete the specific prices for this ship to ID first before I enable it so let's delete it go to tabs and shipping and we'll now see that it is enabled on this tab let's enable it we'll save and now we'll now use the customer super price for the bill to they are now equal let's close let's go to order entry again go to ace and let's pick the bill to uh, ship to as customer price one and let's now pick a CD204 we'll now see it comes to 275 let's close and we saw an interesting feature earlier on where if we pick the customer specific price we told us that we wanted to delete this price after June the 18th we are now still logged in as of June the 18th. Let's see what happens if we log in as of June the 19th. June the 19th. And let's go to Ace Electronics again. So we're pricing, we'll now see that it's deleted. One very important feature of customer pricing is that it's available to all users in Business Vision. So, if I go under my Utilities, System Manager, and User Details, we can see here that under my Access tab, under Customer, I have the Maintain Customer Selling Price set to Yes. I'll change it to No just to show you. And the View Customer Pricing, I'll say No as well. let us first establish one more pricing so I can show you this feature of going to know I'm going to set this up very quickly again I'm going to pick ace customer pricing I'll give it I'll get a new part number this time I'll pick a equalizer and I'll put this as 100 save close 
ace has an equalizer now, seven band for a hundred dollars. Let us now go underneath the user details and let's see what happens if I disable um, this user from actually seeing and modifying customer search pricing. We'll go to no and no again. We'll save and if we go back to the inventory module for that equalizer there is no specific pricing tab here. Likewise if you go to the ACE customer we do not have a customer search pricing tab. So will Business Vision use the customer search pricing? Well, let's find out. Let's go to order entry. And let's pick that equalizer. And we do indeed see that it does pick the customer search pricing, regardless of whether this user can modify and see customer search pricing for customers. It is now indicated again by the green C. This concludes this video on customer specific pricing.